I mean, Barbara Muller, I mean, the director of Dancing with the Stars holding the mirror ball trophy right there. Kids can dance. They can dance. And you had to improvise when the school was closed. You chose a parking lot, and it was a pretty good move. Yeah, it was a great move. Uh, I, I didn't expect it to be such a great move. I did it as a diversion from walking in circles around a great big building. But um, I was surprised at how much the kids took from that to coming back here this year and dancing up a storm. And they were so excited. It was so great to talk to them and so great to see. And you are one of the many teachers here that have improvised and have really had to do more with less over the last couple of years. Want to take a quick shot of our other teachers who are here up early with us this morning. Chris, if you could follow along, we've got them all lined up behind us here. Just some great, great faculty members that have been here at Cresco Middle and High School throughout this entire process, like we talked about, two and a half years where everything was basically shut down with COVID and then with Tropical Storm Ida. I want to talk to a couple of the students. I've got Galish Ganazi here, Danielle Vinali, Villani, and Matthew Couch. Excuse me, but I just want to talk to these kids for real quick. Um, you're a performer at heart. I know we've got some great pictures of you. Um, what's it been like to be back, to be able to get back to doing what you love doing? It's been absolutely a dream. So we performed Footloose this year, yep. and our auditorium was the part of the school that got affected the most. Yeah. Our stage, our costumes, our props were all destroyed in the flood. And um, we waited so long, and when we rehearsed this year, we were all on edge because we weren't sure if the construction would be done in time for our show. And we managed to get on stage five days before our opening night. It was an absolute blast. We all had so much fun with the brand new renovated stage, all the new high-tech equipment, absolutely a dream. Well, that's great. I'm so glad that happened for you, and that's one of the reasons we're here to highlight all some of the wins, as, as Principal Massaro was talking about earlier. Danielle, let me ask you um, to be back with your friends, to be able to just hang out and do the simple things we took for granted for so many years. How wonderful has that been? It's been really nice and refreshing. Like, after so many years of not having it, like, it's been so amazing. You ever talk to your friends and say to yourself, was that reality or was that just a bad dream, bad nightmare? It doesn't feel like reality, really. Yeah. But it's good to be back though, right? It is, definitely. And Mr. Couch, uh, Sarah, we'll get you in here before we go. Um, for you, to hang out with your buddies, to be able to play sports again, to just be here at the school, everything, it's got to be such a tremendous relief for this final year of school. Yeah, it's great, especially after like four years or three years of not being in school and just something weird. It's great, especially my senior year, to be back in school and see everybody. Well, we're psyched for you. We're psyched for what lies ahead. We're psyched for everybody being here. The teachers, as we mentioned, the administrators, the students, here at Creskill Middle and High School. Guys, a big round of applause for all of you. Can't thank you enough. They deserve it. I mean, all kids, all schools got hit hard with COVID, but with these guys, it was two and a half years, a big struggle, but they're back. It is a great comeback story, and they're better than ever. We'll be right back after this on this Fast Act Friday from Creskill Middle and High School here in Creskill, New Jersey.